हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी डूइंग द वर्कबुक सॉल्यूशन फॉर इंग्लिश फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स यूनिट नंबर सिक्स दैट इज शैडो एंड लाइट बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोस सो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फर्स्ट वन वॉट इज द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द पोएम द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द पोएम इज शैडो सेकेंड वाई डज द पोएट से दैट ही इज वेरी वेरी लाइक मी it is the shadow of the poet and it is almost similar in the size and shape of the poet therefore the poet says he is very very like me third what according to the poet is the funniest thing about the shadow the funniest thing about the shadow is that it grows quite fast now next question answers first one Why do you think does the shadow sometimes shoot up and another time get so little Mostly the size of the shadow depends upon the position of the sun in the sky for example shadows are longer in mornings and evenings but shorter in the midnoon Second where did the poet find his shadow when one morning he got up before sunrise One morning when the poet got up before sunrise He found shadow on every buttercup. Third, uh, pick out the adjectives used for shadow in this stanza. The adjectives used for shadow in this stanza are lazy, little, errant, and sleepy head. Now, activity five question answers. First one: What is shadowgraphy? Shadowgraphy is the art of using hands to make interesting shadow shapes on a screen or on a blank wall. Second, which country is the origin of shadowgraphy? China is the country of origin of shadowgraphy. Third, how did a 15 years old boy become popular? A 15 year old boy named Felician Trui became very popular for his hand shadows he liked to make his hands look like the shadows of famous people now uh, next paragraph question answers first one how is doing hand shadows advantageous doing hand shadows activates a part of the brain called broca's area which helps with language second how can you start making hand shadows We can start making hand shadows with a nice bright light in a dark room and shine the light so that our shadow shows on a blank wall. Third, what is one of the easiest hand shadows to start with? One of the easiest hand shadows to start with is a bird. We can easily make the bird fly by moving our fingers. Now question number 2 that is select the most appropriate option from the options given as answers to the questions given below and write its uh, relevant number letter in the provided against the question right so first one shadowgraphy is its option number b an art second in olden days people used puppets for shadowgraphy its option number d third Felician Trui left home at 15 years to become its option number D both A and B fourth his shadowgraphy of famous people made Felician Trui very popular its option number C fifth doing hand shadows activates a part of the brain called its option number A Broca's area sixth Broca's area in the brain helps with its option number B language seventh What do we require to start with hand shadows performance it's option number D both A and B 8th one of the easiest hand shadows to start with is it's option number A a bird now question number 3 true or false first one the chinese travelers learned the art of shadowgraphy when visiting europe it is false second In ancient time people used puppets for shadowgraphy it is true third felician trui became popular for his magic tricks it is false fourth it is scientifically proved that doing hand shadows activates a part of brain called broca's area it is true fifth doing hand shadows one can learn a language well it is true 
Sixth, even if there is no screen, one can project shadows on a blank wall. It is true. Seventh, shadow graphy is to make interesting shadow shapes on a screen using hands. It is true. Now, question number four match the following. First one, shadow graphy. It's option number F, a Chinese art. Second, Felician Truie. It's option number C, a popular hand shadow performer. Third, Broca's area. It's option number A, linguistic part of brain. Fourth, puppets. It's option number B, ancient shadow graphy. Fifth, one of the easiest hand shadows. It's option number D, bird. Now, activity seven question answers. First one, why did the moth want to reach the star? The moth wanted to reach the star because he had fallen in love with a beautiful star. Second, why did the moth's mother advise him to dream of a nice lamp? The moth's mother advised him to dream of a nice lamp because it would be easier and closer to reach a nice house lamp. Third, when was uh, sorry? What was the result of the moth's efforts to reach the star every night? Every night the moth tried hard to reach the star but in doing so repeatedly he came back home completely exhausted every morning Now second paragraph question answers first one what according to the moth's father was wrong with the moth according to the moth's father the moth had yet not burned his wings like his brothers and sisters flying around street lamps and house lamps it was wrong on the part of the moth Second, why did the young moth leave his father's house? The young moth left his father's house because his father insisted that he should fly around a street lamp or a house lamp and burn his wings, while the moth did not want to do so as his dream was to reach the star. Third, what did the moth not know? The moth did not know that the star was four and th uh, one third light years far from him, means the earth. Now, third paragraph question answers. First one, what did the moth think about the star? The moth thought that the star was just caught in the top branches of a tall tree. Second, what happened when the moth grew very, very old? When the moth grew very very old, his mind began to play tricks. He began to believe that he really had reached the star and he started telling stories of his adventure catching a star. Third, uh, what fate did the mo uh, moth's parents and his siblings, means brothers and sisters, meet in their young age? In their young age, the moth's parents and his siblings had all burned to death now question number two that is mcqs first one the young moth's mother advised him to dream of a nice lamp because it's option number d both a and b second the moth's parents refused to the moth to dream of a star because it's option number b he would never be able to reach it third every morning he came back home worn out from flying all night the underlined phrase in this sentence means it's option number A, completely tired. Fourth, it was customary among the moths. It's option number D, both B and C. Fifth, the young moth's dream was it's option number C, to reach the star. Sixth, the young moth thought that the star must be it's option number C, caught in the top branches of a tall tree. Seventh, the old moth made stories of his adventure it's option number d catching a star now question number three that is true or false first one the parents of the young moth consented him to go to the star it is false second every night the moth tried to the best of his capacity to reach the star it is true third the young moth's father wanted the moth to burn his wings at the lamp it is true Fourth, the moth was afraid of burning his wings. It is false. Fifth, the moth left his father's house because he did not want to change his dream. It is true. Sixth, 
The moth thought that the star was just caught up in the top branches of a tall tree. It is true. Seventh, the very very old moth kept on telling the stories of his adventure, how he burned his wings in his youth. It is false. Eighth, a young moth wanted to reach the star. It is true. Now, question number four. Rewrite the following sentences by replacing the underlined words in them with the words given in the brackets given below. First one, the moth ignored his mother's advice. Second, can we sit down? I am greatly tired. Third, will you be there? Surely I will. Fourth, his mind began to have plans. Now, question number five, match the following. First one, the moth and the star, it's option number D, James Thurber. Second, the young moth, it's option number E, grew very, very old. Third, the young moth's dream, it's option number B, reaching the star. Fourth, the siblings of the moth, it's option number C, burned to death at young age. Fifth, stories of adventure, it's option number A, catching the star. Now we will see grammar part. First one uh, means question number one. Complete the following sentences using appropriate participles from the brackets against each. So the first answer is going. Second one is driving. Third one is doing. Fourth one is found. Fifth one is dancing. Sixth one is talking. Seventh one is washed. Eighth one is waiting. Ninth one is looking and walking both. And tenth one is stolen. Now question number two. Fill in the correct participle forms. That is present participle, past participles or perfect participle. So first, one, uh, first answer is read. Second one is being. Third one is filled. Fourth one is known. Uh, fifth one is being born. Sixth one is being. Seventh one is regretting. Eighth one is received. Ninth one is parked. And tenth one is being washed. Now question number th uh, three. A question is rewrite the sentences replacing the italic part with the present participle. First one. She was talking to her friend forgetting everything around her. Second. Watching the news every day we know what's going on in the world. Third. Since they are vegetarians they don't eat meat. Fourth. Wagging its tail, the dog hugged the postman. Fifth, tidying up her room, she found some old photos. Sixth, being a good boy, he helped his mother in the kitchen. Seventh, not having enough money, they spent their holidays at home last year. Eighth, putting on a new dress, she felt greatly proud. Ninth, not feeling well, I didn't go to the cinema. Tenth, walking home, she met an old friend. Now, B part is uh, rewrite the sentences, replacing the italic part with a past participle. First one, I have a cat called Tari. Second, the dinner was more expensive than expected. Third, accused of murder, he was arrested. Fourth, Shocked by the bad news, she burst into tears. Fifth, organized by our team, the event will surely be a great success. Sixth, based on real events, the film tells the story of a reporter. Seventh, born in Hollywood, she knows all the famous movie stars. Eighth, taken to the garage, the car was repaired within an hour. Ninth, admired by everyone, she began to grow arrogant. Tenth, dumped by his girlfriend, he felt really loosey. Now, active passive voice, turn the following sentences into passive voice. First one, we are taught grammar by Miss Sullivan. Second, he was praised by the teacher. Third, the injured were taken to the hospital by the fireman. Fourth, the town was destroyed by an earthquake. Fifth, the teacher was pleased with the boy's work. Sixth, the building was damaged by the fire. Seventh, by whom were you taught French? Eighth, you will be given a ticket by the manager. Ninth, 
द स्ट्रीट्स वेयर थ्रॉन्ग्ड विद स्पेक्टेटर्स टेंथ वी विल बी ब्लेम्ड बाय एवरी वन एलेवेंथ द ट्रीज वेयर ब्लोन डाउन बाय द विंड ट्वेल्थ द थीव्स वेयर कॉट बाय द पुलिस थर्टीन द लेटर वॉज पोस्टेड बाय एलिस फोर्टीन वी वेयर रिसीव्ड बाय द हॉस्टिस फिफ्टीन द स्नेक वॉज किल्ड विद अ स्टिक सिक्सटीन्थ द मिनिस्टर वॉज वेलकम्ड बाय द पीपल सेवनटीन He was found guilty of murder. Eighteen, this house was built by John Matthews in nineteen ninety one. Now, writing part, you can see the bio data form, the name, birthday, profession, hobbies, likes, dislikes, favorite color, favorite actor, and aim in life is written of a person. You can also make your own bio data form and write over here. Okay. Now next is the picture composition. You need to see the picture and write a few sentences on it. So the sentences are: In this picture, we can see Christmas tree, bonfire, many gifts, and decorated wall. So we can easily understand that this is a picture of a Christmas Eve. Christmas is celebrated on twenty fifth December every year. It is believed that Santa Claus comes and fulfills your wishes and gives you gifts on Christmas. it is the birthday of jesus christ the god of christians now second question is write a short composition describing the given picture so this picture is about the importance of water on one hand the people are wasting water through different methods like running tap while brushing flowing huge amount of water through hose etc on the other hand the people of village are standing in a long queue for water In rural areas there is scarcity of water whereas in urban areas people waste water a lot water should not be wasted so that everyone can everyone can use it properly so not only about the picture but in real life also we should not waste water because it is very scarce and it is not available to everyone right so we should try to save water as much as possible Now next is paragraph writing write a paragraph on what you want to do or wish to do so the paragraph is whenever i think about my aim in life for exploring my willingness in sport my mind is confused with a lot of options my choice swung between two games football and cricket i found that cricket is my most favorite sport the indian cricket players lifestyle tells their story of success In IPL Australian and Indian players have shown highest fan following in the cricket loving nations In India cricket has gained huge popularity and dignity over a period of time I have joined a cricket club when I grow up I will try my best to become a famous cricketer And here we come to the end of chapter number 6 that is shadow and light I hope you have understood the complete chapter If you have any doubts you can write in the comments section I'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you